taken the time to meet with us this evening in the heart of our innovation design firm and to talk to us about design thinking and the design of business. Thank you, Roger. Thank you. Thank you. The way I think about in innovation is, is the advancement of, of knowledge. And knowledge goes through, I think, a set of steps that are consistent across all bodies of, of knowledge over time in the world. Things start out in the world as mysteries. Uh, you can start out in the world, uh, as I talk about McDonald's. McDonald's started out looking at a mystery. In 1955, the McDonald's brothers were saying, hmm, in California, beach culture, freeway, uh, freeway uh, culture, emerging after World War II, everybody driving around in their cars. How are Californians going to want to eat? You've got to do what Charles Saunders Pierce called use abductive logic, make a logical leap of the mind, or he said an inference to the best explanation. You don't know, but you've got some data, you've got some observations, and you say this is what might be. Um, and so I think corporations don't realize the degree to which they are lopping off uh, innovation with the way they think, and what I believe that the, 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 what's going to win, and that's why I call design thinking the next competitive advantage, is a combination of the science of inductive and deductive logic with the art of abductive logic. And I think the great design firms like this one are comfortable, utterly comfortable, combining those two forms of logic, but the vast majority of the business world is not. And that's why the vast majority of the business world is disappointed, terribly disappointed, with the level and pace of their innovation. If we're going to talk about innovation, I think we have to ask the question, how does it happen and what really is innovation? consumers, our customers, people that are using our products. The focus is really on them, on who they are, on what they do. Everyone raves about the business thinking and having um, you know, all your revenue models in line and you know, sort of your strategy in that sense. Um, but it's very rigid and I like to compare it to like the Excel spreadsheet, right? Um, there's really no way to get outside the box. And sometimes it's very hard for a company that is very data driven and relies on the immediacy of sales numbers and figures to drive our business decisions. And some of these intangibles are literally what um, you would consider, you know, having a cleaner store, or having wider aisles, or having an easier cart to push or an easier cart to carry, having a transaction with the sales associate or the pharmacist or the pharmacy tech that um, delivers um, uh, an extra level of um, positive experience.